Hello again, this is Kevin Maurer, uh, and in continuation of the, uh, the gear grinding rig that I uh, was showing you previously, I wanted to also show you then the set of gears that I had recently picked up off of eBay. There are over 70 of them. Uh, really nice gears. Obviously, uh, they've been around for quite a while. Uh, they've been sitting somewhere, and the, many of the top surfaces of these have been uh, corroded. Um, that being said, the teeth are in great shape. I'll be removing most of the rest of that rust uh, with an electrolysis and then a, a, uh, a jig that I'm making to actually run them against each other, uh, let them actually cut each other in and, and smooth it out. Uh, here is the gear that I've just finished doing the grind on. And as you can see, it did a spectacular grind. It's even, it's smooth, uh, even using the, uh, the much heavier grit stone. That's a, that's a really nice grind finish on that. I don't think I'll be taking it to a high polish finish. I think this is perfectly acceptable. And I'm going to be using these uh, gears. I'm actually in the process of engineering and designing a uh, thread cutting attachment. Uh, for the watchmaker's lathe. Uh, and even though you can purchase these online, there are certain functionalities that uh, I'd, I'd like uh, and an aesthetic that I'd like that uh, this is, seems like a worthy project. Now, uh, in addition, uh, I'm going to give you a closer look at uh, the, the little collet uh, you know, that we were talking about earlier that was actually used in the lathe. I'm hoping it gives us uh, a little bit of adjustment so we can actually uh, zoom in on that, but you can see that it has, uh, you know, a number of uh, slots in it. It's been cut, uh, you know, four ways. That was all actually done on the watchmaker's lathe. Just started uh, with a piece of 12L14 uh, steel, about a half inch in diameter, chucked it up, and very carefully cut this. Uh, and the, the, you know, it's spread with this little shaft that fits inside of it once uh, one of the gears is actually popped onto the uh, the front, that's an exact 3 8 uh, sh short section, and a nice square shoulder that guarantees these are nice and square if it gets pushed up tight. And then on the back of it is uh, a little circular nut, and uh, the circular nut is actually slightly smaller than the diameter of the threads that are actually on the back of the collet itself, because of course this has to go into the uh, headstock, and the drawbar has to be able to go over the little circular nut in order to get to these threads. So uh, the whole thing just uh, slides together very nicely. Um, the finger tighten the, uh, the actual draw bar, uh, the collet draw bar first, uh, and then it's, it sits up snug enough uh, finger tighten that uh, once you seat the, the gear on the back shoulder, uh, just a, a quarter turn crank uh, with a screwdriver, and of course, uh, you know, this was uh, made and slotted then on the lathe as well. Um, and it just expands those fingers beautifully, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it, uh, it for what will be, uh, you know, a bit of a job here uh, to get all these cleaned up. But uh, the fact that it's working so nicely is uh, is very fun. Uh, and part of the reason I got this little lathe was not just to make interesting things, but also the, to make the parts for the lathe itself and have them have some beauty to them. So uh, um, looking forward to it.